Hello, Brett here with Support Chat, and today we're going to show you how to install and use the Support Chat WordPress plugin. So the very first thing we're going to do is install the plugin, and you can see we have done that. It is on our WordPress, and we are going to go ahead and click the Activate button to activate the plugin. So now that the plugin is activated, you can see on the left hand side it has created a new menu with several sub menus. The very first thing we want to do is go to the settings area and set up our plugin. Now, Support Chat is designed to be extremely easy to set up. There are a couple of settings that you are going to want to put in though. The first is your admin email. Now, this is the email address that the form is going to go to when there is not a support agent online. When there are no support agents online, obviously there can't be a chat. So what will happen is it will show a contact form instead. And this is the email address that the contact form will, ma will mail to. The second setting is going to be the header color. Now this is the basic color setting of your chat pop-up. Uh, this should match your website's design and color scheme and you can just click on it here and choose the color that you want from the color picker and we will pick a reddish color because we have a reddish color scheme. The third setting is your offline message. This is the message that people will see when they try to initiate a chat but there are no support agents online. And generally this should be a message uh, indicating that support is offline. Another good idea would be to add your working hours uh, saying when you are available for live chat in this particular time zone. You can adjust this as you like or you can just leave it the standard default message. The other options are the simple setting options such as with the position of the button to start the chat, whether or not you want a background overlay, things like that. Uh, these are all optional. So now that you have your basic settings set up, we're just going to click on Save Settings. And then there is one more thing that needs to be set up immediately, and that is the agents. We need to have at least one agent. So we're going to go over here to the Agents area. We'll click on that button, and we'll click Add Agent. And all we need to do now is enter the agent name and a password so the agent can log into that, their agents area. Uh, the agent name could be anything you want, it's only for your reference, and the password of course could be anything that the agent will remember. So we'll just go ahead and add a generic agent name, and we'll create a password. And then we'll click add agents to add that agent to the system. So now we have our chat set up, we have an agent added, and we can go ahead and add it to our pages, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So to add support chat to your particular pages, the very first thing you're going to want to do is create a specific page that is for the agents. This will not be a page that is generally shown on your WordPress site. It's just going to be a page where the agents can log into their secure area in order to chat with the customers that need help. So I'm going to go up here to Pages and I'm going to click Add New. And I'm going to call this Support, no, let's call it Support Agents. And I'm going to create a, the new page. So now that I have the Support Agents page created, all I have to do is add the Support Agents shortcode in and that will automatically pull in the agent login area and access so that the agents can log in and chat with customers. So I'll just paste in the short code and I will update the page. And then to make sure that everything worked correctly, I'll go over here and I'll click on the view page and I will look at the page itself to make sure it is pulling in the agent's login area. And here we are at the page. You can actually see we are pulling in the agent's login area, so that is functioning correctly. So now we're going to head back to our WordPress admin area, and we're going to paste the chat shortcode into any page that we want to have the chat box show up in. So I'll just go ahead and create a test page and show you how to do that. Okay, so here I have a test page now, and I'll go ahead and paste in the chat shortcode, and I'll click on Update. 
and then I'll just view the page to test it out and make sure everything is working correctly. And here we are on our test page and as you can see the chat is set up and functioning correctly. So that's a real quick look on how to set up the support chat WordPress plugin. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I'm always glad to help. Thank you and enjoy.